We obviously have a final event in Smith Lake. That's a clear water or spotted bass fishing, something uh, that, that I know doesn't exactly fit your style, but if you qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series, obviously your brother Fletcher, how cool would that be? And I'm, and I'm assuming you would take full advantage of that opportunity. The uh, spring of 2012, Fletcher had talked me into fishing a local bass tournament. That day kind of changed my life. The artist, however faithful to his personal vision of reality, becomes the last champion. The highest duty of the writer, the composer, the artist, is to remain true to himself and to let the chips fall where they may. 27 opportunities that I have to capitalize on this year. These opportunities, these dreams, these goals, uh, one of which I've had since 2013, qualifying for the Bassmaster Elite Series. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and it's not easy. All the hours, days spent preparing, all of that gets brought to light at this one event, one tournament. Fortunately for me, I have a good friend of mine, David Kilgore, who actually lives at Smith, offered me his lake house to stay at prior to the tournament for practice. And I took him up on that offer and I, I packed up everything from Ohio and basically moved to Alabama and you know, my reasoning for that is I feel like I may never have this opportunity again and I'm not gonna let anything get in between me and that goal and if I've gotta stay there for a month then, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I kinda just unplugged from the world for a couple weeks because clear water and spotted bass, I don't have a lot of confidence in. And I knew that I had to eat, sleep, and breathe it to fully understand what was going on. advice from some of the best sticks on the lake. Both of them my good friends, Jesse Wiggins and David Kilgore. And I can't thank them guys enough for, for helping me out and getting me pointed in the right direction. Going into day one, I know the math. I know I gotta finish 60th or better. Looking back on past tournaments of this event, it's always tough this time of the year in the fall. It's always a grind. Basically, if you catch a limit two days in a row, you know, you, you're top 50, top 60. But in the past, it's always been a 12 inch limit. And this year, it's a 15 inch limit, which may not seem like a big deal, but it's, it, it's tough fishing right now. And for me, that just, if I can just get five bites a day, then I feel like my job is done.
Happen, baby. Thank you, Lord. Do not let these things jump out. My life is on the line right now. <laughs> I'm about to start crying. This is pathetic. Good job. <laughs> I'm jacked up right now, dude. Oh my gosh. Like, dude, I'm two fish away right now from doing my job. You know what I mean? Yep. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Please. Yeah. One more, baby. One more. Thank you, Jesus. You think they're, everyone else is catching them? Like, you think there's going to be a bunch of limits brought in? I don't know. With the weather changing today, it's possible. But it's like, you know, I, I don't want to stop. Like, I want to go for the throat. If I get five, go for the freaking throat. Because if I catch 12 today, game over. I catch a couple bass tomorrow and it's done deal. Cause yeah. I think 14 pounds is gonna be a top 50, 60. Yeah. Because that was the same way back then, it was 14 pounds with 12 inches. Yeah. That's a big difference. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to jet. I'm about to jet. I know what other things I could go to. It's going to take a little bit of time to fish, but I feel like if I catch one, it's going to be a damn good one. You know what I mean? Yeah.
That is awesome. In his face! <laughs> Look at that thing! Hey! Leading's 13 pounds. Dude, you're like gonna be in the top four of the I've got like 11 and a half, I think. from Newcomer's Town, Ohio. He's got himself a limit of fish. Oh, our points leader going into this needed a big day. You seemed a little worried at registration. I know this is a huge event. This has got to put some relief in your in your in your heart. Absolutely. I mean, this is uh, one step down, and the the next step's tomorrow. Looking for 15.5 to take the lead. Not going to be enough to do that. But 11 pounds, 12 ounces is going to have him inside the top five, all the way up into fourth place. Hunter Tryon. He's going to be tough to catch. Of course, trying to punch his ticket not only to the Bassmaster Classic this week by winning this event, but certainly to the 2018 Bassmaster Elite Series. We know that's something he seriously, seriously like to, to have happen. Good job for you. David! David! Five. Twelve. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's got twelve. So you'll be in fifth? Oh, I'll be... I'll be fifteenth or twenty. You're crazy. Do what? I didn't hear you. Just go fishing, right? <laughs> Just go fishing. No big thing. You know, after day one, the weights were a lot lower than what I'd expected them to be. And so that night I sat down and did the math on, on what I thought I needed for a two day total to get a top 60 and it ended up coming out to be 12 and a half pounds. Now I already have close to 12 pounds the way that it is. So basically I need one bass, one 15 inch keeper and I'm basically guaranteed to 
qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series. Got you straight ahead, follow that one spinning around that Phoenix. There you go. And catch the four first, just in case two don't want to bite. They're gone. It's just yeah. like that. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Please, Lord. Oh my gosh. the entire day I I knew it was going to happen like I knew I was going to catch a keeper or if I didn't catch one it didn't matter I was I was going to be fine but you know when I put my key fob in a net and I didn't have a fish in my live well I knew it was over. I blew it. It was. It's done. All of this, the whole, the whole season, it's a wash. Because I, I know that it can't be that easy. You can't, you can't zero in a tournament or zero a day and expect to still qualify. It, it ain't gonna happen. It's, it's not that easy. You know, and, and I'm driving off. There's people weighing in, and, and I'm done. And this is supposed to be that moment that, you know, you picture it in so many different ways, and uh, never, never would imagine that it would go down this way. So I drive back to the house, and, and you know, I'm frustrated, I'm furious, and, and I'm, I'm going through my phone, I'm going through the results, There's, you know, a lot of guys still left to weigh in, and I'm, I'm refreshing the results and watching my name fall from 30th, 32nd, 35th, you know, and just and just continue to go on. And there's, you know, I don't know how many people still left to weigh in, 
I couldn't take it. I just sat there in pure disbelief. Finally, I got back up and I checked my phone and I'm scrolling, scrolling, and it says weigh-in concluded, and I'm in 58th place. And I'm like, it's not right. It's not right. I keep, I keep scrolling. Is it like that's how I found out <clears throat> that I qualified we all picture things to happen a certain way um, the process to happen a certain way I think we do that a lot when it's not going our way or going the way that we think it's going to go, you know, we start to lose hope. And when it's your time, it's your, it's your time to do it. And obviously this was my time because I couldn't even screw it up.